Okay, so we are going to create an escape room um, in Google Drive. So we're going to go over to New and we are going to select Google Forms. And I'm going to go ahead and just create and share. I'm in a shared folder right now. Okay, so here is my untitled form. I'm going to go ahead and call this the Instrument Escape Room 2. Okay, so this one I just uh, decided I'd make a second one. Um, so my description is going to be um, help unlock the instruments. They are behind several doors. You can help unlock them all by completing the following questions correctly. Good luck. Okay, so um, our untitled question, our first question, we're going to go and say, let's say, um, what instrument is this? And I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture. And let's go ahead and do a Google image search for clarinet. Let's do this one here, insert. Okay, so there is a picture of my instrument. It's a little big, so I'm gonna go ahead and shrink a bit better. Okay, so what instrument is this? And I want this to be a multiple choice question. And my questions are going to, answers are going to be, I think this is a flute for option one. Um, for option two, I'm going to say it's an oboe. For option three, I'm going to say it's a saxophone. And option four, I'm going to say it's a clarinet. Now, um, we need to say what happens um, with these actions. So we do need to require this answer. Over here, we need to say you go to section based on answer. Before you can do this, you need to create a new section. All right, so now let's just say, sorry, try again. And we will insert a picture, an image. And we'll just click on that one because we know it works and insert. So here we go. We just have this down. We don't need to even title it. Okay, so there's the section, create a new section. And now I have section three and I'm gonna say, congratulations, you unlocked the first door. And um, I could insert an image, I suppose, in here saying unlocked door. Yeah, let's do this one. Insert. Okay. So, did it happen? There it is. Okay. So, there is my image. And now I can go ahead and add a new question. And my new question is, um, what family of instruments does this belong to? Okay, and we'll go ahead and insert an image and let's do the, a picture of the tuba. And there's a good picture, how about right there? And we'll insert that. And now we go ahead and we can come back to that previous question. Let's just make that image a little bit smaller first. Okay, so let's go back to that first question um, about the clarinet. Okay, so now we need to go back here and we are going to say 
for the flute, that is incorrect. So we are going to say, go to section two where it says try again, okay? Um, oboe, we're going to say, go to section two, sorry, try again. Saxophone, go to section two, sorry, try again. And clarinet, we're gonna say, so to section three, congratulations, you unlocked the first door, okay? And so now, based on my answer, I'm going to go someplace, okay? So with section two, after this, we actually want this section to go back to the first section because we want to go back and have them redo that question, okay? But if they went to section three, then we are fine, all right? So let's go ahead and continue some more um, of these choices. So we asked the question, what family does this belong to? So we're going to say brass, we're going to say woodwind, we're going to say percussion, and we're going to add strings, okay? Now, from here, we also have to can go up here and we can duplicate this, I believe. Yep, duplicate section. So we just duplicated this whole thing down here. So you'll say, congratulations, this is now section four, but we're gonna change that at some point. Um, but we can say second door. Um, let's go back up here to this one and let's duplicate this section. Okay, um, so we're gonna go ahead and change this to be move section. We're going to move it to, we're gonna put this one up here and now we have the sorry try again and congratulations second door. So we're gonna go ahead and click save. So now we have it in the right order. So if section two is sorry try again, Section three, congratulations with our next question. Now that we have section four, try again, and section five, we can now go ahead in here and put down that this is a required question and that the answers are going to go to a certain section based on the answer. So this one is the correct answer. So we're going to say, go to section five, congratulations. You unlock the second door. This would be incorrect, so we'll go to section four, try again. This one as well, section four, try again. And this one, section four, try again, okay? And here's our section four, where it says, um, let's just change this maybe. And you can change these and it won't matter. You can say like, oops. Not correct. Try again. Okay. And for this one, we have to now say that this one is going to back to section three. Okay. Because this would be the second question that they're answering. Okay. So it needs to go back to section three. Section five, we can say they unlock the door. Congratulations, you unlock the second door or we can say, way to go. Let's do that. Let's just change it up a little bit. Way to go. You unlock the second door. So now we need a new question and we just kind of continue on like this, adding in, all right? So let's say what material are string instruments made of, okay? And down here, we will put a picture of, instead of this, we're gonna change that picture. And we're going to go to a Google image search and we're going to put string instruments. Let's go to that one, string instruments. Let's go ahead and just pick this one here. Okay, and we'll insert. Now, if we wanted, we could do more of a cartoon version of this, which would make it a little harder to decide what they're made out of. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. And we're going to say made out of plastic, which could be wrong, right? I suppose it could be made out of plastic. We're going to say um, brass. Let's make silver. 
and then down here in wood. Okay, let's just say our string instruments traditionally. Oops, traditionally made of. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Now, once again, we are going to require this question. And we need to go up here and we need to duplicate this section. So we will duplicate this section. And up here, we will duplicate this question. Okay. And since this one's right here, we're going to move this section. It's a little trickier now because we didn't um, rename them. But this is the last one. So again, we need to have it so it's different. Okay, so we have the um, congratulations, oops, and then way to go, and oops. Oh, you know what happened? I don't think that last one got duplicated again. That's the problem. Yes, that was the problem. Fourth, oops, that's not correct. Fifth, way to go. We unlocked the second door. Here's our other question. Oops, that's not correct. So now we do need to duplicate this section. We can duplicate it. Otherwise, you could just make a new section as well. Okay. And we need to make sure that this now goes to the bottom. Hello. What's going on? Oh, we got to scroll it down so we can see. There we go. And we say save. Section four, oops, section five, way to go, second door, question, this one here. Let's just say it's the end. Congratulations, oops. You unlocked all. You escaped. I'm gonna say that, all right? So for this one, you could have like, instead for this one, the image could be, okay, where's those three dots? Change, there we go. And let's do like celebration. And we could have fireworks going off. That looks kind of good. Let's just do that one. Insert. Okay. And then this part here, we're going to go ahead and delete this section here, this question, because we don't want a second time for that one. All right, because that will be the end of our escape room. Okay, so now we can go back to this question and we can put in our answers go to section based on answer. So plastic would go ahead, um, actually we could just say continue to next section instead. Oops, that's not correct. Um, and for this one, we could just simply go to, congratulations, you escaped, okay? So the one thing I need to make sure is here, we do not want that to go there. We want to go back to, section five, so they have to answer that again, okay? And this one here, we also need to make them go back to that one, okay? So let's just do a double check and make sure everything looks like it's supposed to. Um, help unlock the instruments, they're behind several doors. Actually, initially, I think I had um, a picture in here of some instruments that were, you know, that they had to try and escape, but that's okay. We can just go ahead and leave it for now. Um, to do that, if you wanted to, all you would do is click in here and add an image, okay, of some instruments. Um, anyway, what instrument is this? We said that was the clarinet. Um, based on our answers, the clarinet says, congratulations, we go to the first door. Otherwise, it goes to section two. Section two says, sorry, try again, and our locked door. 
Um, section three, congratulations, you unlocked the first door. Instead of saying congratulations, let's say you did it. You unlocked the first door. Now this one, um, wait, after section two, we want to go back to section one. I wonder why that didn't stay. Yeah, that should be there. It's interesting. Okay, so section one, it goes back to there. Section two or three, we're going on. Our answers here are, that is a brass, so that's congratulations. Um, oh, we don't want that though. I'm gonna say way to go, you unlock the second door. Wow, there's some interesting. I'm glad I'm double checking some stuff here. All right, so this one says you unlock the second door. Oops, that's not correct. Going to section four. This one we want to say you've got to go back to section three, which is correct. Okay, way to go. All right, so this will be section five which is what this one will go to. Way to go, you unlock the second door. So section five, way to go, you unlock the second door. Now we have our next question, what material are strings made of, or what is our string instruments made of? We say continue to the next section, which will be section six for brass, silver, and plastic. Wood says, congratulations, you're going to section seven. Um, then we just have to make sure that at the end of section six, we go back to the second door, which we do, okay? So then section seven says, congratulations, you unlocked all the doors, you escape. At the end, we want to add in something for them to do at the end. And we are going to say, what is your, what is your name? And short answer will be fine and it's required. Um, we could add another one and we could say, who is your classroom teacher? And again, short answer so that they could write that in or you could put, you know, what is your grade? Okay, whatever you would like. And um, just because we probably want this up here next to the congratulations here so that they can see that. And I might want to make this just a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay. And those are required questions. Yes, they are. All right. Finished answer. All right. So the next thing you can do is you can send this to students. And you can send this via a link, via an email. You can embed it someplace into your website or something. Um, you do probably do not want to include the form in the email, okay? Um, all right, so that's how you would send um, for these three dots. Let's just see what this is. Um, preferences, let's just see what's happening here. We're going to collect email addresses. You can change that if you want. Um, we're going to make the questions required. And we can give it a quiz value if we want. Um, let's give it just 10 points, I guess. Let's do that. Okay. And yeah, that's it. Um, if you wanted to change the colors, you can change that up here. Um, let's make this one blue just so it's something different. So, um, that's basically everything you need to do um, when you go. Oh, I know one final thing you need to title this. There it is. It just popped in there just fine. And that is how you create an escape room. When you go to find your responses, when you pull up your form, you will click on this button where it says responses. And at some point you can turn off that you're accepting responses if you want. Okay. So that is how you create your escape room.